Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do my eyelash extensions at home. I use the Blinkify eyelashes and I love them. And I want to show you guys how I apply them, um, my little tips and tricks that I have up my sleeve. I've been wearing these lashes for about a year now. I get compliments on them every single time I wear them. People think I get them done. They are like, are they your real lashes? So many questions and um, over on Instagram, every time I'm on my Instagram stories, I get so many questions on how I apply them, what do I think about them and all the tea. So I'm gonna share with you guys in today's video. This video is gonna be dedicated solely to these lashes because they truly deserve their own YouTube video. So if you are in the market for thinking about getting eyelash extensions or wanting to do them at home by yourself, I highly recommend getting these and doing them at home by yourself because they are amazing and it's a little bit of a learning curve but i'm going to help you with that so let me jump into showing you the two kinds that i love um there are a bunch on their site but i love these two these two are my tried and true um but like i said there's tons on their site and i do have affiliate code with blinkfly that i will have linked down below in case you want to get some lashes um, with a little bit of a discount and yeah okay so first of all we have the darlings these are my babies these are the ones that i think look the most natural and the best on my eye shape um this is my eye shape in case you need a look um i have all my makeup on today except for lashes and another thing is for a mom this is so easy i literally just wake up and most days i don't even put on makeup especially like I do social media as my job and most days I could just throw a filter on. I just have some lashes and call it a day. Um, but like even for like parent pickup and drop off for the kids, like this is so easy and it's like makes you look well more awake than you probably did if you didn't have lashes on. So I love them. I feel like a naked mole rat when I don't wear them. So I'm feeling a little insecure, but it's okay. <laughs> so anyway, back to the lashes. These are the darlings. So when you get them, you will get three separate sets and you can um, only use three sections of them like clusters because they are little clusters as you can see so you can only use like three or you could use the whole thing or if you just want the outer you could just use two it's really easy to customize your lash with them um as you see i left out the inner one last time i did my lashes because i just felt like i didn't need it or sometimes i'll have to trim them they're super easy to trim what i also love about them is that you can reuse them so all you have to do is just once you take them off which i will explain how you take them off here in a minute but um once you take them off you can just pick off the glue and it comes off super easily and then if it doesn't you can always soak them in alcohol and kind of get the bacteria off of them as well so you can reuse them multiple times i reuse mine all the time and um so yeah so how you remove them a lot of people always ask me how do you get them off so you never they're going to be going underneath as you guys will see in the tutorial here in a minute um so you're gonna be putting them underneath on your lash like line not the water line like the lashes right there on your lashes on your natural lashes so you never want to pull them off because it will take your natural lashes with them and it will damage them so to avoid that you want to make sure that you're in the shower nice and steamy and just with warm water and soap just your face wash and just kind of go like this and they will just glide right off you should never feel pulling you should never feel tugging when you're removing them if you do feel pulling or tugging you should stop and you should add more soap or just let the warm water run on them a little bit more and they're so easy to remove um they last five to seven days depending on how you take care of them they can last just a day and you can take them off that's why i love them because you can kind of customize them however you're feeling so i usually wear mine i put mine on on a sunday and normally I take them off on a thursday and good to go especially with the darlings they last so long on me i find a lot of my friends and i all wear the blink fly lashes and we all have a specific lash that lasts longer on us and does better on our eye shape on our wateriness of our eye how our eye functions who we are as people so i feel like every lash like is for a certain person so if you try say this lash and it doesn't work for you try another one because i bet you it's just that lash doesn't work for you um so i highly recommend trying them out for you just like no this isn't my thing so 
anyway so these are the darlings love them and then here we have the princess which are really new to their site i think and again they come with as you can see i have my used ones in here um so i just take them off and like try to put them in line but honestly like if you're missing some you can just mix and match and make it work sometimes i mix the darlings with the princess like you can mix them all up and they look so good you can stack them all the things so anyway these are the princess these are a little bit more dramatic i love them um i find that when you're applying them if you pl apply them literally just touching each other like kind of making a strip lash out of them they last a lot longer and pieces don't get wonky um so i'll show you how i do that as i apply them and real quickly let me go over the glues that they have you can get this glue lash lock which is the one that i love off amazon or on the blinkfly website and then blinkfly does have this other glue it is um black and I want to say that it doesn't have silicone in it i don't love it i personally do not like this one but i'm sure somebody out there will and then they just came out with another um glue that i believe is like a mascara wand so i love this one and this is the one i'm going to be using today it's called lash lock it's like three dollars on amazon so without further ado without me rambling i'm going to jump into the tutorial i'm going to try to give you guys the best angles that i can tell you my tips and tricks and how i apply these lashes Okay, so sorry if you hear the kids screaming, they're just playing. Um, so what you wanna do is pick out a row, it honestly doesn't matter. And so what I do is I turn the box around and I kind of, get down here so you guys can see. I'm gonna pull you up here for a second. I do this and that's kind of how I know, like this goes for the side and this goes for the side. And then I will lay the box back down. So, and I know this one is for the outside this one right here and they have this little adhesive on the back to have them stick to the box so what i do is um i just hold the lash like this and then i pick off the adhesive it's just like a little plastic um sticky stuff i'll just pick that off and then you'll notice i'm gonna hold it so you guys can see I don't know if you're even gonna be able to tell because it's so tiny. But then you're gonna notice a little, on the end, on this side, there's a tiny little plastic tail. So you don't have to cut it off, but personally I wear my lashes a really long time and I like them to stay very comfortable. So I will use scissors and just trim that little teeny plastic tail off just so I'm not irritated at all. Okay. So then I will just repeat that step for the rest of the lashes and I will take the glue off and all the things. Usually I find that the middle and the second to middle isn't normally have any of those little sides so I don't worry about it. And I start off with three always just to see how they look on my eyes and then I kind of go from there to see if I need another one on the inside and if so I usually have to cut it a little bit. So I'm going to start with three and what I do is I will just pick up the lash use my tweezers and I just take my glue and I will okay so there you can see like how much I apply not too much not too little and then you want to apply it to the top not underneath because they're going to be going so they're going to be going up and under here so you want to make sure that you're applying the glue on top of the lash Okay, so now I just have the glue on the three lashes and why I let this sit, I'm gonna let this sit for probably like five minutes because I find if you get it too dry, then they don't stick very well. And if you don't, if you do it too wet, then they just slip off your eye. So I find that like five minutes with this glue is a good time frame. So while I'm waiting for these to dry, I'm gonna work on doing the other eye the same process. Okay, so this is how I do it. I either will get very close up to a mirror, like my bathroom mirror or my one in my bedroom, and I will lift up and put them under, but I really like to have a mirror under me, and that way I can literally just look down and then apply. So I'm gonna show you that method because I think it might be easier for you to see. I'm gonna try my best, but bear with me. And then I just apply literally right on the outside corner on the lashes 
and then you just want to hold for a minute and then I use the back of the tweezers and I will just push very lightly to move it into place where I want it. I we'll just place it right underneath and lightly press. Okay, I'm going to show you how I take do the next lash. So I'm literally going to try and match up where that lash ended. Doing this in the camera so it's kind of hard. And just like that. I'm going to turn out the blink to use the back of the tweezers and press it into place. So during this process, you can potentially get glue in your eye and that is okay. Just breathe it out because it happens. Um, but try and make sure you're getting it on that lash line and not on the water line. I know mine looks like it's on the water line, but it's just very, very close to it. If it's on your water line, it'll slip off faster, it'll fall off faster, and it just won't feel comfortable. So make sure that it's on your lash line and it should feel very, very comfortable. It should not feel, it'll feel a little strange at first, but it should feel very comfortable and you shouldn't feel any sort of pain or scratching or anything like that. Okay, so as you can see, I feel like on the middle here, I could put another little tiny piece. Um, so I'm gonna trim that and do that, but we're gonna work on the other eye while I wait for that piece to dry. So I'm gonna just show you one more time how I apply the outside piece in case the other angle wasn't very good. And I will lift up, apply. Just like that. Try to keep holding it. Use the back of the tweezers. I'm gonna put it into place where you want it. And then don't touch it. Let it sit so it can dry a little bit more and form onto your eye. The next one, just try to line it up right next to, like overlapping right at the ends on top of each other. And then you just push into place. And don't touch it, let it dry. Um, now let me get the rest of the pieces I need and I'll show you what they look like. But so far this is them. I think they look super good, really like natural, but obviously it looks like you have lash extensions depending on the lash that you choose. Um, but so easy and they're very, very comfortable. I get so many questions asking me if they're comfortable. And for me, I personally think they're comfortable. Um, is because I don't put them on my waterline. I put them on my lashes. And I remember when I first started using them, I would put them on my waterline and it would be so uncomfortable. I was like, I do not understand this. But since I started putting them on my lash line, they last 10 times longer and they are very comfortable. And most days I don't even like realize that I'm wearing them. Um, definitely the first like time that you wear them, the first week that you wear them, it's gonna be like weird. But then once you start wearing them consistently, it's like, it's like you don't even you don't even notice them um also i never wear mascara now i literally either wear these or nothing because my real lashes don't compare to these anymore um it doesn't damage my lashes at all um as long as you're not like pulling and tugging on them when you're taking the lashes off okay so they're done i just put a tiny little one on this inner corner i just snipped one of the lashes and put it in the inner corner and then i just put the rest of um that set on this one every eye isn't the same every lash isn't built the same sometimes you'll have lashes that are like perfect dimension for both sides sometimes you have to cut some so it's really fun that you can like play around and fit your perfect eye shape but i think they look so good and i think you guys should definitely try them out if you've been considering getting lash extensions try this first because this is such an easy at home like eyelash extension so Make sure you check out Blinkfly. I will have everything linked down below and I hope this video helped you a lot. Um, let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. I'm very vocal in my comments. I love to answer all of your questions. I will have an affiliate code linked down below as well so you can save some money. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Before I go, I wanted to show you these are the Darling style 
And then the next clip is going to be me in the princess style. So I just wanted to show you the difference. So this is the princess. You can see it's a little bit more dramatic. <laughs> 